Thanks for joining us today, King of Kings, and welcome into another episode of the Beyond Sunday multi-site podcast series. I'm Dan Hoppen, the director of small groups, and as King of Kings prepares to launch future campuses, starting with a location in Northwest Omaha and Gretna in the coming years, we wanted to address some of the challenges that come with expanding. And with me to discuss those today uh, is King of Kings Executive Director, Julie Easley. Hi, Julie. Hello, Dan. So I, I think that today's topic is really important because when we talk about um, multi-site and expanding and new campuses, there's a lot of excitement that comes along with it, and with good reason. We are reaching new people uh, for Jesus. We are getting a chance to uh, get into different neighborhoods in different parts of Omaha that might never come to I Street campus. So there is a lot of excitement that comes along with it, but I think it's also important to address some of the issues that we might face as we try and locate and then open these campuses. And and we want to be real with all you listeners and make it clear that while we are over the moon excited about this, this takes a lot of work. And it is our first time going through this process. And I know that one of the biggest challenges is just starting right at finding the space itself. So I want to open it up to you, Julie. Just what are some of the top considerations that we identified as we look for future campus locations. Yeah, so I think the first one is just location. Where do we want to go? And there are a lot of things to think about as we consider that. I think for us, one of the primary considerations for um, looking in the Northwest area was just, we've got a ton of our people there. We actually um, did some research, had a, a heat map kind of drawn up, and it showed us where our King of Kings people are already. And there were a lot of people who lived in the area um, that were, were, were considering um, putting our first multi-site. And so that made it really easier for us to say, hey, tons of our people could invite their neighbors and friends to come to this new site. And so, you know, that was probably our primary consideration for this site. But, you know, it changes with every site that we're, we're thinking about. So first of all, that... Um, Next, we want the building to be easy to access, so we don't want it tucked away somewhere where no one can see it. We also need a space and a, a size that will accommodate probably around 400 people. Um, we can have multiple services, but we can't have a space that's too small because we need space for guest experience, a place for kids. Um, parking is really important, right? So you could have a terrific location with five parking spots and you would not <laughs> no be able to launch there. Location. Right, exactly. Even things that you might not consider like ceiling height. We need to have ceilings that are high enough. We've got music going on, lights going on. Um, we need to make sure that the ceiling is high enough for what we want to do. And then cost. So even if we find a terrific space that needs a ton of upgrades or the lease is very expensive, all of that stuff, you know, you have to keep in mind when you're considering a space. Which is a lot to balance. I mean, you're talking a lot of things that have to line up to find the perfect space. So it's not as easy as just, you know, oh, let's just drive through Northwest Omaha and, and see if there are any great, you know, for sale signs or real estate signs up. I mean, there is a lot of research and a lot of thought that goes into this. Absolutely. And, you know, in a place like Northwest Omaha where things are growing a lot, there's just not a ton of not a ton of spots to begin with. So, yeah, it's complicated. Well, it's something that you said when you were talking about the noise, like my wife is an architect and so she's you know, she can walk into a space and tell me like why it's too loud or why it's too quiet. And obvi yes. obviously noise is something that is incredibly important when Absolutely. it comes to a worship service because you have to balance, hey, this is not only going to serve as a quasi like concert hall, but we also have to like, there are going to be speakers in here and balance. Those are two very different types of sound. So like just that one element, just the sound element makes finding a space really, really difficult. Absolutely. So, yeah, and all the tech considerations, right? Sure. How outfitted out is the space um, for tech? So that's just another thing to think about. So as we talk about, you know, kind of looking for this space, I think that we've really had to lean into one of our four core values, and that is reliance. Mm -hmm. On our own, finding this location would prove tricky, if not impossible, but we're relying on God to provide that perfect location. Yeah, absolutely. So um, just a scripture verse from Philippians 4, my God will supply all your needs according to his riches um, in Christ Jesus. Or another one, um, Jeremiah 33, 3, call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. And right now, right, <laughs> finding mm -hmm. sites are <laughs> a great and unsearchable thing we do not know. And so we're trusting in God. I do know that prayers are super important. We as a staff have been praying about this location for a long time. 
We've had members of our congregation that have done some prayer walking in the Northwest area, um, just leaning in, pressing into God. What does he have for us? Um, One thing that our congregation could absolutely do is if you hop onto our website, we have a whole section on our upcoming Northwest campus, and there's a prayer calendar there that you can download every month that has specific things you can be in prayer for, for our multi-site. So I would encourage you to hop on there and take a look at that, maybe print it off and include that in your prayer. We would love that. Um, We also know that God has provided us awesomely with consultants. They've been a true gift um, from God to us, helping us think through different aspects of multi-site. So, yeah, it's been good. Tell me about that a little bit more as we've... As we've searched, what, like, what are some of the really important insights that the consultants have helped us through when it comes to some challenges or maybe things that we didn't consider? And they're like, hey, have you have you thought about this? Right. So we've consulted with a couple of groups. The Elevate group has helped us think through systems for multi-site and staffing, um, which has been a huge kind of getting us off on the right foot in those ways. And then a group called Ministry Solutions has been working with us, um, helping figure out locations and site specifications all of that. Um, Both of these groups have had a ton of experience with multi-site, so we don't have to learn everything from scratch. We can take all of their best practices and apply them to what we're doing. So they've been super generous with us, and and I've just been really grateful um, for the ways that they've just advised us in all of these different aspects for multi-site. Obviously, King of Kings has developed into a pretty, I don't want to be like too pompous or anything, but we're a pretty successful church. Yeah. I feel, I'm, I'm proud of, of what we've built here. Absolutely. But at the same time, multi-site and multiple campuses, this is something new for us. Right. How important has it been to just adopt that humble nature to say, yes, mm-hmm. we've got something that's really cool, but we're kind of stepping outside our area of what we know what to do. We're going to come into this with a humble attitude and say, you know what? We don't know everything. We're willing to listen. We're willing to learn. Yeah. So I love the scripture that says, unless the Lord builds the house, the laborers build in vain. And, um, so just speaking as the person who's kind of the point person for all of this multi-site, I'm just approaching this all with a learner's mindset. That's just how I operate with everything. So reading, asking questions, viewing it as an adventure that can be conquered, not as something scary that we aren't going to be able to, to figure out, and bringing along people who can help us on the journey. But I just love to view these kinds of things in a really positive light and view it as just a, a hill that that's conquerable. Um, God's on our side. And I think with kind of a a learner's, a positive learner's mindset, we can take it on. I'm just super confident in that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that learner's mindset, we've had the stated goal of wanting to open 10 new campuses over the next 20 years. What are, as we've gone through searching for, and we're getting in the process of starting this first uh, campus, or I guess second campus, High Street's the first, but you know what I mean. Yep, I do. Um, <laughs> what are some of the most like important things you think that we've learned that as you look ahead to identifying and then building out future campuses, you're like, oh, that I'm really, really glad that we learned that. Yeah, I think just um, having a really compelling vision for what we're doing at King of Kings and kind of what God's called us to do as a church, making sure that everybody understands that. So we're going to be passing on that DNA to the core group that's going to be um, helping to launch Northwest. But, you know, if you think about how God operates with us in his word, he places us within a context. He created the world. He has given us our own own place in it. And and that's the kind of approach that we want to take. So what has God called us to? And what is everybody's place in that calling? So vision, communication is super important. As we continue to expand campuses, we need to make sure that our communication about what we're doing and what we're about is crystal clear. Um, empowering kingdom leaders. So as we expand, right, we're going to have more and more, we're going to be asking more and more people to step up into leadership. Um, and, and really becoming unselfish in our approach, right? Kingdom-minded, doing whatever it takes to reach people who are far from Jesus. And that's a call that's on each of our lives. But I think multi-site forces us to to adopt that more quickly. And then finally, just the joy of kingdom movement and giving out of our abundance. Like you said, God has blessed us so richly as at King of Kings, and we need to be giving out of all that he's given to us. So those are just some of the things that I'm hoping that we're going to replicate campus to campus. 
I love that. And I think, you know, it's it's been a lot of fun. I know that, you know, as we've talked about on this episode, there have been some challenges. There have sure. there've definitely been some frustrating times. And and I'm on the periphery of those discussions. You're right in the middle of it. I'm sure you're feeling it, you know, every day, every week, you know. But there is like the fact that we are working for the kingdom and that ultimately after these frustrations and these challenges are conquered, like we're going to have a second campus yes. and we're going to have the ability to minister to new people. That is just something that everyone can rally around and everyone can thrive on. Yeah, exactly. I have a I have a whiteboard in my office and I have a saying on there that I look at every day and it says momentum is messy. <laughs> That's perfect. And so, right, we're kind of we're right in it right now, but but we're moving forward. Yep. We are definitely moving forward and uh, you know, Julie, you mentioned a couple times during this episode different ways that people can pray for us. Ken King's family, thank you so much for your prayers and your continued prayers and, and for just being patient throughout this entire process. You guys always come through for us and um, starting a new little campus, <laughs> starting a new campus isn't as simple as turning a key, but we know these campuses are going to be worth the effort and eventually will help grow God's kingdom in tremendous ways. So, Thank you so much for listening today. Be sure to check out cankings.com slash multisite to stay up to date on all things multisite. Now, let's dig into prayer and keep living our lives beyond Sunday.